This is Volleyball DNA. What's up, guys? We are back in the lab, finally, for another edition of Volleyball DNA. And today, we are so honored dahil makakasama natin muli ang MVP ng PVL. Walang iba kundi si Tots Carlos. Tots, kamusta? And welcome back to the show. Hi, Anton. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> Tots, right now, I know you're, you're in your Baguio training camp, Baguio bubble, tama ba, with, with the Creamline Pool Smashers? Mm-hmm. Okay, kasi the last time you were here on the show, naikwento mo sa amin ni Denden yung buong buhay mo, but at that point, hindi ka pa part ng cream line eh. Mm-hmm. You, you were still with a different team, but now you're a member of the cream line pool smashers and entering your third season with them. Uh, I want to ask you, third conference rather, with them. Um, ano ang maaasahan ng PVL fans sa cream line now that you're entering the PVL Invitational as the previous champion of the Open Conference, what can they expect from, from your team? Well, Anton, like what we always say in the interviews, lagi lang naman yung best namin yung ibibigay namin eh. Kasi, especially right now, we don't know kung ano pa yung laro ng ibang teams eh. So, we just really focus kung paano yung sistema namin, what we want to, in- to improve, so, lagi lang naman best effort yung ibibigay namin every game. What about you personally? Ano ano ang bago kay Tots Carlos ngayon? Kasi medyo tumaas na expectations eh. Kasi nag-MVP ka, and then you played for the national team, nagkaroon ka ng experience doon. Anything anything new that we should expect from you and your game? Um, Well, with the national team and yun nga, with that MVP award, or like, like what I always say then, hindi ko naman yung makukuha without the help of my teammates. So, um, personally, syempre, I still want to improve kasi marami pa akong gustong gawin eh. So, um, self-improvement talaga yung focus ko ngayon. And syempre, we want to defend the championship. So, um, team effort pa din naman yun eh. So, we're really working on that. Hmm. Okay, thoughts. I just want to compare ha. Kasi yung first conference mo with Creamline that was in the bubble, up north, and then your second conference mo, it was here na, sa, sa Paco Arena. So, what do you think changed with your team that you were able to get the championship? Because during your first conference with them, you weren't, you, you fell short against Cherry Tigo, but in the second conference, ayan na, tuloy-tuloy na. So, what, what do you think was the main difference um, of, of of course, uh, Coach Tai wasn't there anymore. But like from the team, from your perspective, ano yung nagbago? And this time you were able to come out on top. If we will look back sa ano, um, Ilocos bubble. Mm-hmm. Well, first bubble kasi yun eh. So every everyone talaga nag adjust Kasi, you know, uh, being with your teammates all, every day. Ganyan. So iba rin talaga yung, ano eh, yung environment. So, kailangan, we had to really adjust. And yun nga, we fell short nung championship. And it okay. Actually, it was okay. Kasi yun yung para naging, nagbigay ng push sa amin for the next season na bawiin talaga namin yung championship. Eh. So, nakapag-adjust na kami from the next bubble. Nakapag-adjust na kami. We know what to do. Nakasama na namin ng matag- mas matagal yung teammates namin. Nian Pangs and Ate Ella. Kasi mm. basically kami yung um, parang bagong salta sa team eh, nung Ilocos hmm. Bubble. So, kahit pa pa, no, meron pa rin kapaan na konting-konti eh. Pero pagdating nga ng next, ano, next uh, conference, yun na, yung parang, oh, matagal na kami magkakasama, um, meron na kaming, yun, yun, na-improve na namin chemistry ng team, yung bonding namin, alam na namin yung setup sa bubble. So, basically, wala na naging kapaan. So, talagang yung training na, namin, naging team training talaga siya when it comes to the training, the skills, uh, yung sistema na gusto ipasok nila coach. So, wala na masyadong mga ibang uh, outside uh, outside factors. Talagang nag-all in talaga kami dun sa sistema ni coach. Okay, sabi mo nga, bagong salta ka nung, nung Ilocos bubble. So, I mean, you're pretty much new. 
but then you became the MVP. Did, was that something you expected? Yung, yung MVP award? Actually, hindi talaga. Like, <laughs> for my whole career, never ako nag-expect ng anything na parang individual award or whatsoever. Uh, I'm just, yung pinakagusto ko lang talaga last season was yung nakuha namin yung championship. Kasi yun yung goal ng team. So, we were just lucky na, yun nga, well, personally, na swerte lang na, alam mo yun, magagaling yung teammates mo, Ate Gia is so brilliant on distributing the balls, alam niya kami pagganahin. So, honestly, kung titingnan mo yung team, hindi na hindi naman talaga nagkakalayo eh. Makikita mo lang talaga yung, siguro, the stats or whatsoever. Pero if titingnan mo, team effort pa rin yung nagdala sa akin kung ano man yung nakuha ko for that season. Okay, thoughts. But now that you know what it takes to be an MVP in the PVL, kasi professional na kayo eh, para sa'yo personally, sa mga nakikita mong players, because now you know what it takes, sino yung mga players na nakikita mo na may potential to be the next MVP of the PVL? I mean, it could be your teammate, it could be somebody from another team. Para sa'yo, which names pop out na may potential maging next MVP sa PVL? Um, well, honestly, I, I haven't seen pa ulit yung mga, ano eh, yung mga ibang teams. But, um, if, if titignan mo sa team, talagang ang nakikita ko ngayon si Gemma. Kasi, mm. nakikita ko everyday the effort, yung, yung ginagawa niya kung gano'n siya katalino maglaro. So, I think it's really Gemma. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. That, that's, that's, uh, interesting because, um, yeah, there was a point na when Gemma, here, Gemma was here on the show, there was a, a stage in her career na talagang ano siya, bigla siyang umangat eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you see another, another surge in her game mm-hmm. like at this point in her career. Okay. In- interesting. Kasi tsaka iba na eh. Iba rin eh. Thoughts eh na alam mo yon, mag-MVP ka sa pro level. It's, that's a huge, uh, isang malaking karangalan yon eh. And like for now, it's just you and Jaja. Sipin mo yon. <laughs> <laughs> kasi and, iba rin eh kasi through the ano abang dumadaan yung mga liga yung mga ganito nakikita mo yung growth yeah uh, well ako nakikita ko yung growth ni Gemma nakikita ko yung growth ko my teammates so ito talaga yung competition talagang high level na talaga so mm. kaya naisip ko oh, Gemma is really doing well right now <laughs> mm. okay okay All right. now because of what you showed in the PVL thoughts uh I'm not sure if we talked about this the last time you were here, but you became part of the national team. You, you were finally called up. Uh, was, was this a dream of yours? And what was your reaction nung nalaman mo na you were going to be invited to be a part of the team to represent the Philippines? Well, even before pa naman, diba? Like, even hmm. kahit yung mga hindi DNA interviews na nag-uusap tayo, ganyan, Mm-hmm. Parang ang gusto ko talaga is to be part of the national team. So I, I was really happy na finally they picked me to play for the national team. Pero syempre, if may opportunity, we'll grab it. So I'm just really happy na, you know, finally naka-represent ako ng bansa. Even though, I mean, you know, um, yung iba pa rin kasi yung pag-international yung kalaro mo. Eh. Like after that, after those two games, parang na-realize ko, oh, parang kailangan ko i-improve ganito. Hindi ako obra sa international volleyball if ganito lang ako. So parang ang dami kong, for, the, for two games lang, ang dami mo na na-realize na kailangan mo pang i-improve. So super happy ako na I got to play. And kahit yung exhibition game lang, I got to play. Kasi na-evaluate ko rin yung sarili ko after those games. Hmm. Okay, now, there was an interesting article that I came across uh, si Coach J, Coach uh, Suza De Brito, uh, sabi niya na si Tots Carlos is a special, special player and that um, he's sorry because you only got in the national team during that tournament and, um, you know, if given the chance, he would have been more happy to have you earlier. So what, what was what's your reaction to that? Na, you know, the, the coach, you know, who's who's a big name from Brazil, sees something in you and uh, had some good words? Um, na-appreciate ko talaga yung sinabi niya na parang 
yun nga na parang his story and everything but you know it is what it is eh I, I, ako kasi yung tipong kung ganito yung gusto ni Lord na mangyari ganun so if eto pa lang yung time ko yun yung talagang tinatanggap ko so if they call me again uh, I'd be willing to really represent the country and yun nga na-appreciate ko kasi after the game then sabi niya you did well ganyan ganyan so sobra na-appreciate ko kasi even sa short time na magkasama kami na uh, na napapansin niya na nag effort kami nag nagtatrabaho talaga kami so yun na naman lagi yung sa akin eh yun na appreciate ng mga tao even my teammates yung mga effort na binibigay ko individually dun sa uh, team so sobrang happy ako na natuwa si coach Jorge sa performance namin okay si coach Jorge obviously he's different because he came from Brazil and and you've had some great coaches throughout your career like coach Jerry coach Tai Bundit now coach Sherwin so what was what's the difference for you na you know training under a Brazilian coach um actually yeah. Para nakikita ko si Coach Okubo sa kanya eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ako nga pala, si Coach Godfrey pala. Si Coach Okubo yung nakikita ko sa kanya. So parang in a way, parang yung, kunwari <laughs> with the language barrier, parang in a way, nagigets ko kung anong gusto niya. Uh... The way he explains, the way his training. So parang medyo, hindi na ako masyadong nag-adjust kasi eh, simple lang naman siya eh. Super uh... direct to the point. And alam mo, susundin mo lang kung anong gusto niya. So it was, It wasn't that hard, really hard for me na mag-adjust kasi parang with Coach Tai, with the language barrier, Coach Okumu. So parang parang in a way, medyo naka-adjust ako agad kasi meron na ako experience before. So ayun. <laughs> Buti na lang pinaalala mo na naging coach mo rin pala si Coach Gadi. Oh. <laughs> Sana hindi niya mapanood. Na, nagkaabot pala kayo. Sorry, Coach Godfrey, okay. if you're watching this, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how I forgot about you. I don't know why I forgot about you. You're one of my favorite guys. <laughs> okay, thoughts. I feel like right now, at this point of your career, you're kind of like at your peak now because obviously you're, you're MVP, you're part of a championship team, you're on the national team level. Ano pa gusto mong marating? What, how, how higher can you get? How much higher can you get? Because right now, you're at a really good place. Ano pa ang gustong marating ni Tots Carlos sa uh, volleyball? Honestly, I really want to play abroad. Oh. Like, yeah, especially right now. With hmm. uh, a daming basketball, sobrang daming, oh, oh, ano, yeah. with daming offers from uh, international, mga international, national so parang after the ano then the those exhibition games dun ko rin na realize na parang i really wanna play abroad kasi mm. dun ko rin na sabi ko nga na na ano na assess ko rin yung sarili ko na parang in terms of attacking if ganito lang yung efficiency ko hindi ako uubra abroad so parang nagkaroon pa ako ng push to alam mo yun to exceed pa kung ano meron ako to improve more dahil yun nga uh, uh, One of my dreams talaga is to play uh, international. Wow, wow. So, o oh nga eh, kasi like, kumbaga, Eliza opened the door, and then, you know, Jaja, and then Din Din, and then Mylene. So, for for you, uh, ano, if ever, ano, anong bansa mo nakikita yung sarili mo playing abroad? <laughs> I actually want to play in Japan or oh, Thailand. Japan and Thailand, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, even before, like in, in college, uh, we went to Japan to train. Kita mo talaga from the grassroots, sobrang kanda ng sistema. So, uh, yun yung parang gusto kong uh, experience ko din. Even Thailand, alam mo yun, mm. from high school, yung mga high school nila, parang collegiate volleyball na. So, actually, even our collegiate volleyball ngayon, sobrang uh, taas ng level. With yeah, NU, yeah. Uh, 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 so, parang uh, grabe na nga yung volleyball. So, Parang it's really nice to, you know, explore and uh, meet new system, volleyball system. Wala lang. Parang expand ba yung, uh, yung knowledge ko sa volleyball because I really want to coach them in the future. So parang yung knowledge ko, gusto ko pa na lahat ng pwede ko pang uh, makakuha. 
Wow, na nagulat ako sa sinabi mo. I really want a coach in the future, ah. Coach Coach Tots Carlos. <laughs> ano guys, ano ano sa tingin niyo? <laughs> Co- coach Tots. Ano ba pwede? Para ano, it it has a ring to it. <laughs> yeah, look, looking looking way forward, looking way forward to that. Pero marami ka pang marami ka pang maabot. As a player, as a player. So as a player, muna tayo. Well, I mean, all the best. I mean, I'm sure everybody will be happy, you know, if you do get that chance to, you know, take your talents abroad. Because, I mean, right now, you're one of the best players in the Philippines right now. So, so like, we wish you all the best when it comes to that. Thank you. I <laughs> appreciate that. Thoughts, ano, you mentioned the UAAP. Um, I'm also very happy about that because especially with the players na matagal... Matagal naghintay before it came back and then the fans gra- na rinig na rinig ko yung sigaw ng mga fans eh, sa TV especially in the finals um being a former star in the UAP um what are your thoughts dito sa recently concluded UAP season and um who were some of the players that that impressed you the most um like what I what I've said kanina uh grabe yung level ng UAP ngayon like Lagi ko nga sinasabi, grabe, nung kami, hindi naman ako ganito mag-jump serve. <laughs> nung kami, wala naman kami ganito kabilis na plays, ganyan. So, para hindi mo may mag-compare. But, you know, it is what it is. Kasi yeah. madami nang develop the programs, madami nang mga theories or whatsoever na talagang naturo na sa mga bata. But, you know, uh, two years before the UAAP, In a way, parang for me, meron ding advantage yun eh. Kasi uh, they got to prepare, di ba? In terms of strength, yung chemistry ng team, yung bonding nila, lahat. Especially NU, yung bubble nila. Mm. Di ba? Parang two years sila magkakasama. So, y- yun yung talagang sa akin na para sobrang lakas ng mga teams ngayon talaga. Um, one of my favorite players talaga is Solomon. Eliza Solomon. Sobrang, okay. sobrang simple yung talon niya, yung, yung way of play niya, the way she thinks. Alam mo yon yung hindi siya yung tipo na simple lang, pero yung dating, alam mo yon sobrang magaling talaga siya. So, uh, parang nag-usap nga kami, parang, parang pwede na siya international. <laughs> Bata, tsaka simple lang. So, wala, nakakatuwa talaga manood ng UAAP yan. Alam mo, for me, after Bella, si Solomon also has potential to be an MVP in the UAAP. Eh? I don't know. What, what, what do you think? Sorry, wait lang. Sorry. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. What do you think about that? I mean, like, uh, Eliza Solomon having the potential to be an MVP in the UAAP, especially after what she showed, lalo na, in the finals in game two? Well, honestly, Anton, uh, and new team, parang, they really deserve all the awards that they got. Like, mm. with Belen, with, ano, Lamina. Mm. Um, parang, ano na lang kasi yan eh, parang, kumbaga, yung team, okay na eh. Pero yung, yun nga, yung individual stat, kasi, um, iba rin kasi sa volleyball eh, hindi mo masabi. So, parang, ang, ano, mas maraming ball touches, mas maraming mm. stat, get so, mm. hindi, if siguro kung meron pa, kung pwede yung dalawang mag-MVP, si Solomon yun. <laughs> 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 yun na lang. <laughs> Ito, thoughts, you mentioned that, you know, all the NU players got awards, even the ones who used to be from NU but transferred to a different school, like like si Faith and Thea Gagate. Uh, dito kasi sa Philippine Volleyball, The, there's there are players that who came from high school powerful high school volleyball programs like Sina Alisa Sina Kim Fajardo like uh, what what do you think this what what effect do you think this will have on high school players who decide on where they want to play in college now that they see that you know if if you stick together from high school to college you can win a champion you can translate the success from the high school level to the collegiate level. What, what do you think the effect will be on the high school players with what the, the former Lady Bulldogs, now uh, former high school Lady Bulldogs, now, uh, now, now champions in the UAP? What do you think the effect will be? Well, in terms of collegiate, parang for me, personally, ah, mm. 
pag college ka na kasi, you have to consider kung mm. ano yung goal mo in the future. So, if ano ba, a uh, volleyball career, you wanna be a doctor in the future, you wanna be a teacher, you wanna be a coach, whatsoever. Siyempre, uh, malaking factor yung meron na kayong pinagsamahan, like the NU, like NU, may pinagsamahan na kayo, the chemistry of the team, nandun na. Pero if choosing, for me personally, if choosing kung ano yung mas uh, on track dun sa gagawin mo in the future, yun yung para magiging ano siguro, yung yung para magiging ganon, na parang hindi lang volleyball iisipin mo. Kasi, uh, well, ngayon may pro volleyball, pero iba rin kasi yung, iba yung naiisip mo in the future. So, kung anong tingin mo na makakabuti na college school sa university or whatsoever. Kasi hindi mo rin naman may iwasan yung every university meron yung mga sila yung top sa business, sila yung top yeah, sa that's right, that's right. Yeah. So, if volleyball lang, better siguro if uh if, if volleyball lang yung isipin mo. Better siguro if you stick with your team kasi iba yung foundation eh. With, mm. Kahit sabihin na natin uh even with the skills, kung hindi na, kahit hindi naman kayo super up there, if yung teamwork nyo naman, nagbabalan siya, di ba? Malaking factor yun to win the championship. But you know, in in choosing the university for yourself, you really have to ano, uh, consider kung ano yung magiging future mo. Okay. Thoughts aside from Eliza Solomon, who, who are the other players that stood out to you this UAP season? Um... <laughs> <laughs> ang hirap. <laughs> ang dami eh, no? Ang da- ang dami oh, eh. Ah. Uh, siguro ano na lang with Sige, ah uh, with NU may gusto pa ako yung libero tsaka yung sete. You know. Si si Jen and Lamina. Yeah, Jen and Lamina. Mm. Kasi with with Lasal naman yung libero din nila, si Azareno. Para siyang Don eh. Uh. Don Billy Point to eh, no. Pero <laughs> Like what I always say din sa mga kunwari uh, nagko-cover ako ng game. Mm-hmm. Parang we always see na the spikers yung laging hina-highlight ganyan pero if you can really understand the game if titignan mo it was really the first ball of the libero of uh. Jen Nerva and yung yung distribution ng setter. So ang hirap pumili talaga ng player. <laughs> Sobra. As in pero interesting eh, that you you wanted to highlight the liberos si Hazareno and si Nerva. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kasi kailangan yun. Hindi eh. kayo makakapalo. Hindi eh. kayo makakaset up ng opensa, di ba? <laughs> even, even yung defense lang. Uh, first of all, even yeah. yung mga imposible. Parang minsan parang imposible na makuha pero nakukuha pa nila. Uh, yung mga talagang napapawaw kami pag nanonood uh, kami. Uh, Grabe. <laughs> Good volleyball talaga. I, I I know it's super early, but do you think NU will go back to back? Um, we'll see if Coach Camille has a shot. <laughs> with the team, with the team, uh, uh, maybe another championship, siguro. Lakas eh, no? I, I mean, to me, I, I was telling this to Michelle Gumabao and si Gaira Baroga, former LaSalle player, sabi ko, it was kind of shocking to me na alam mo yun, because for so many years diba it was it was LaSalle it was Ateneo and then you know Aya came in and USD was strong they went to the finals and then for NU to sweep the whole season it was just they all came in <laughs> yeah it was it's a parang it's a new world there eh, no level <laughs> nila Okay, um eto thoughts uh, by the way congratulations on uh, being a commentator ah uh. <laughs> Thank you. Kamusta, kamusta naman niya? How was that? How was the how was the experience? I actually didn't make it sa live game eh kasi para okay. yung mga schedules hindi ako pwede so Ah, okay. I had the chance to do live games pero uh, I did sa Smart Giga. It was mm. fun. It was fun. Mm. Well, congrats. I mean, uh, that's good training. That's good training para pagdating mo sa live hindi ka na magugulat. Well, well, siguro maano ka pa rin sa crowd, but like, uh, at least you know how it goes now. Sayang, di tayo makakapag-cover together kasi, ano eh, syempre na si GMA na ako eh. <laughs> so, so, yung mga nagko-comment dyan na bakit wala na si Anton sa UAAP is because I'm with GMA, guys. So, I'm covering the NCAA. But, you know, I, I do hope to work with thoughts in the future, cover a game. Who knows? Yes, di ba? Hindi naman, 
di naman natin alam what what will happen in the future. But thoughts, ito, uh, um, for my last question, uh, I just wanna, I just wanna see like like your talent, like like how you how you evaluate talent. So we watched the UAP, we enjoyed it. Para sa yo, if you could recruit one player or maybe a couple to Creamline from the UAP, any current player, uh, who do you think would be a good fit and could be a big contributor sa Creamline from the current UAP players? <laughs> Sabi ko sa'yo, I thought favorite ko sa Solomon. Kasi oh. with, the, with the height, the way she play, the attitude, simple lang, hmm. tsaka good vibes lang siya, di ba? Yun yung importante. So I, I think I really want to get Solomon. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Kahit, kahit hindi na ako maglaro siya na lang. <laughs> wow, that's that's big words uh, from from the MVP. I hope Eliza Solomon gets to see this. Thoughts, thank you so much for the time, but I just want to give you this chance to invite everybody to watch the upcoming PVL. Siyempre, uh, thank you so, uh, so much, Anton, for having me here again. Uh, salamat po sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin sa Creamline and Rebisco, thank you so much sa so, walang sawang pag-aalaga sa amin, syempre, sa mga coaches namin, to my teammates, and sa lahat po na nanonood, uh, ni-invite po namin kayo na manood ng games namin. Uh, PVL Invitational, it will start on July 9. Uh, hindi ko pa alam kung anong games namin, but we, uh, for sure, ipopost namin yan, and we hope to see you guys there since pwede na yung mga... Uh, audience natin. So, vo- volleyball is finally back again. So, excited kami to see you guys and play for you. And we hope to see you soon. Ayan. Thank will you so cre- much, Anton. Will Creamline win again? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> Thoughts, great catching up with you. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Thoughts, Carlos, Thank right so here much, on Volleyball DNA. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.